it's looking a bit doubtful again. Today's the day, my last chance this year. If it doesn't happen today, it's not happening at all. Morning world, welcome to Saturday 16th of October and the day I'm supposed to be going up in Tiger Moth late this morning but looking at the weather and Julia's just come back down over the hill very low cloud I'm expecting a phone call any time to say sorry and it's not happening which I quite understand you can't control the weather but <sighs> just means I've got to find something else to do today maybe Maybe it will happen, maybe it won't happen, I don't know. Right, sort that lot out. Right, you look to stay in there for now because you're making a right mess out on that trench. There you go. Ah, oh, some of you said you like watching chickens. You know, I try and give you what you want. I'm still waiting to hear about the concrete panels for the shed. Still no news. Um, it's getting to the point now where they're starting to forecast snow for next month. I may have to think of a plan B, which at the moment is the new barn is only half done. The panels aren't up, the floor's not done. Am I gonna have time to actually complete it before they come in? Or do I, because in the middle original existing barn, there is already a floor down there. It's not perfect, but it is down and there is water in there. And there is possibly provision to use that instead. Because the original plan was Cattle in that shed, cattle in that shed, feed tunnel down through the middle so I could feed the guys in this side and then I got storage space in there so half of that shed was going to be storage. Worst comes to worst, I still got half of the new shed because I never took all the floor up. It will be, for want of a better term or a better description, a bit of a bodge to try and do it that way but um, I have to start thinking about plan B in case plan A does not come to fruition. Um, so we're just moving it out at the moment whether or not to try and put actually put a gate post against the wall in the middle there. So just dig, ho dig a hole in the, in the shed and put a gate post in there that I can hang a gate and separate the original barn into two. Um, because I've already got a gate at their end, so that's already done, and I've already got provision pretty much for gates at this end. So it can be done. It's just going to be awkward. <sighs> this whole idea was to make life easier. Uh, Covid really is going to put the koi bush on that this year if we don't get these panels soon. So, anyway, it's... 20 past 8 in the morning, still not had a phone call yet, so maybe I am still flying. I can't plan anything until I quite know what I'm doing, but I could see Charfield, but what's that, a mile and a bit? But I don't know if I'm going to see much further than that. I don't know what the visibility allowance is for these aircraft. I mean, it's not like we're flying in the middle of it, it's from an airfield. There'll be other planes coming in and out, so... Um, I'm assuming Tiger Moths don't have modern radars and stuff like that and can tell the pilot where everybody else is. You've got to rely on your eyes. And if you can't see further than a mile, I don't know. I mean, that's how far I can see at ground level. 
How far can you see what's your thousand feet up there? Can you see anything a thousand feet up there? Don't know. I'm not feeling very um, positive about it. Well, it's almost ten past nine. No phone call, so um, maybe I am going up today. So I better be prepared just in case. Um, I spoke to the uh, people who were doing the a flight and said, "Can I take the GoPro at me?" And they said, "You're not allowed to have any loose objects." So basically, if I'm taking that up with me, I have to make sure that I can't drop it, which is pretty much fair enough. Well, it wasn't that long ago somebody gave me. A roll of paracord. I can't remember who gave it to me, but thank you very much indeed. So I reckon I can make a short lanyard with this to secure my camera to my wrist. So whatever happens, I, I can't drop it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh doesn't need to that long, is it? Let's just make a wrist loop and then go back in there. Okay, if I must make a loop on that. I can pretty much tie a slip knot around the handle to grip the handle and maybe even tie a slip knot around my wrist. Can't fall off my wrist. Yeah? That's the idea. Hopefully that will meet the standard. Right. That didn't take very long, did it? So the plan so far is, um, I've got to be up at Kemble for, I think it's 10.55, yeah, 10.55, um, so I'll probably be there a bit before then. My wife is over in Dursley having her nails sharpened, so I think what we'll probably do is about 10 o'clock, not far away, I'll drive over, pick her up. And then we'll go straight to Kemble from there. I'll ring Paul when I get there. And if I'm not flying, we'll go in the cafe and have a cup of coffee. Maybe. And well, I don't know. we're just going to have to wait and see when I get there. So, Kemble Airport. GL76B6BA. That's the postcode in case you want to look up where it is. Right. Oh. Then you're done. I reckon actually that might make good conqueror string too. Mm. Conquerors. Yeah, I got a. Those of you that follow my Instagram will know. I had a message from Mr. Cornock the other day saying that um, he's made a couple of videos on the subject already. You may know that I challenged him to a conquerors match. Uh, one video is coming up tomorrow, Sunday, or maybe today if you remember and you're seeing this. And uh, there's another one coming out Monday, and he suggested that I don't watch the one that's coming out on Monday. So I, I just get the feeling that he's up to some mischief. So I think that maybe this afternoon we may have to just doctor a couple of conquerors, just in case, you know, if he's going to escalate the challenge. I, I may need to find some weaponry to... Uh, to, to meet the challenge. It's all fun there. Right, I've got half an hour. I can do some editing. Right, I'm just on my way over to Dursley. It's 10 to 10 in the morning. We hadn't heard anything, so we assumed stuff was still going on. Um, I'm on, heading over to Dursley to pick up my wife, whereupon I was going to go on to Kemble. Um, to see what was going on. Anyway, they've just rung me to say that if I could delay my journey for half an hour, um, they're expecting this um, low cloud to lift. Apparently, the um, cloud ceiling is, or it's at 700 feet. They kind of want it to go up a bit more. Um, so if we can delay our journey half an hour, 45 minutes, that'll be fine. So pressure's off a little bit. Or on, I don't know, because I suppose there's still a little bit of doubt as to whether it's going to happen but I'm a bit more positive now than I was an hour ago. No. Anyway, 
I'd arranged to pick the wife up anyway, so I'd better go over and get her because the last thing I need to do is strand her on the rear of the last of it. Again. Anyway, so. Right, just had a phone call from the Tiger Moth flight folks. Flight's cancelled. Um, they tried flying at Abista, they've had two attempts to get away, and the pilot has said it's no good, no point. So so he's cancelled. Uh, that means I will now not be flying until next year. They're happy to bump the flight until next year, so they'll contact me by email sometime in the next couple of weeks, I expect, and look at look at doing next year or so. Oh well, never mind. Right, she and I are going to go off and do something else now. Because we kind of booked the time off. So we can. Right, I'm just over in Thornbury waiting for the missus. She's gone into Aldi, so we're I'm parked up just sorting out my next job to go look at. Uh, while I'm here, can I just apologise to the Marshall tractor driver that was waving wildly at me apparently in Dursley this morning. I was so busy looking at the tractor and trying to work out which model of it was, I never spotted the driver. And she's going, he's waving at you. And by the time I looked up, you'd gone. So if that's you, I'm sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. I was looking at the tractor, not the driver. So, anyhow. Right, well, hopefully she won't be too long. I'm going to go and look at this tree that I got a pollard. The customer doesn't know what it is, so I'll identify it when I get there. Then we're going to have a cup of tea with the old man. And then, I think, home for lunch. So, a bit of a shame about today's uh, cancellation of the flight. Although, once I got out of bed and looked at the window, wasn't really surprised. And in some ways, it might even be a bit of a relief because, although this time of year, it'll probably be a nicer ride, less thermals, so less bumpy and bouncy. But if I can't see more than a mile, there's kind of no point really, was there? So, never mind. They've put it back to next year. I'll fly next year. All I've got to do is survive that long. So, right. Come on, Julie. Any time today. Did you um, get in touch with the crate? Yes. I don't think this guy can drive. No. It was quite frightening, really. Yeah. Because there's ice cream, so I'll put them in the back of your van. His wife looks terrified as well. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I used to get three boxes. Three boxes of? My, the little Vionetta ones that I wanted to get. Oh, okay. Your favourite ice creams? Yeah. Right, just a quick note, um, nothing to do with the farm, this is to do with the build. Uh, we ordered some um, insulation boards for the wet room, for Audrey's wet room, and when they were delivered, a couple of them were damaged. Now, we're pretty sure they were damaged in transit because, let's just say, when the guy in the big white van with blue and red logo types and three big letters on it, came in my yard well one I'm surprised he got a gearbox left in the thing and two I'm surprised he got any gravel left in the yard because it was spinning and crunching gears and all over the place and when I looked at the back of the van it looked like there had been an explosion in there so I'm pretty sure the boards were damaged in transit so I rang um, NAS board and they said oh send us an email and we'll see what we can try now this was yesterday morning this arrived um, so I just searched it look Three of the boards are damaged, two of them quite badly damaged, the third one we can probably get away with, um, and that's no problem. And they said, don't worry, give us the order number and we'll sort it. I went out in the yard this morning at half past eight, and there was two boards had been delivered. They, they'd overnight, I, I told them I didn't need them till Tuesday, but they overnighted it to me. So, so if you're looking at doing a shower room, a wet room or whatever at home and you're looking for an insulation board i can recommend highly recommend nas board okay nasboards.co.uk thank you great job um, that abby that might be abby i don't think it's in that i don't think it's in that either I'm not sure if it's in a new packet or I've just been through there and I thought I'd been fairly I thorough. Can I couldn't get do that with 
a good sort out in there somehow, really. That's all um, pipe fittings in there. Well, I thought I was. Oh, that's a big bastard. Uh, hey, a big spider. Just say, oh, you got the camera. Yeah, and. Uh -uh. I know we got a new one. I know we have. Last time we would have used it is when we hit the back of the sheep. And, um, Itching to. Yeah, but I'm sure we bought it back. Oh yeah, because I put everything we needed in a in a blue bucket. Mm. Oh, it's that fucking spider actually. <laughs> He's in that pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can use this one, but it's just. It's just going to be awkward because that's like a bloody angle. Well, I don't know quite what happened. How it, how it managed to get round that it's bit. It's supposed to. Where we re screwed it on and we just didn't screw it on the right way and we can't unscrew it, which is a bit annoying. Well, I'm not actually sure how it screws on because. I'm pretty sure that whole th this whole piece. Yeah. Or it can't, or it should be able to turn. Yeah, but I'm worried about breaking it because if I break it, I can't use it. So should we? Should I we? Know you... If you WD-40 or clip a sole down there, it helps loosen it up. Well, should we vaccinate and then? It might be a case you just need to vaccinate like that, which is a bit annoying, but so it's still doable. Needs must, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let's do the exactly. vaccinations, and then I'll see if we can take the gun apart. And if I break it, then at least... It's done. And the needles are there. Right. Make sure she's not calling you. Because there's a... Because the actual original needles were in a little blue... Megsy! It's not in the Land Rover, is it? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if it's in the cubby box of the Land Rover. I won't get me keys in a minute. If I get the blame for that, what? you pressing the doorbell. Walk with me. With you or like you? Walk with me. Walk with me. I am. No, not you. Who are you talking to? Her. Her. Oh. Hi. Walk with me. So our new drains since it was your last? Yeah. Tell me how impressed you are. Go away and take a sincerity tablet. <laughs> oh, he was. I thought it was unlocked. Not there. Might be. In there. You want to go down the back of the No. No, not in there either. Right. Hmm. What's this? That's chocolate. Fatty. No, it would only be fatty if I ate it. It's been in there six months. What do you mean? Because I keep forgetting it's in there. Go on, eat it all now. I don't want to eat it all now. I'll leave it there. My name's not Abby. I don't eat it all. All you talk about is food. Even it's like hen nights and stuff like that. You're not, no, because <laughs> no, there's no, 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 there's no, no food no, no, involved. Not necessary. Stop you it. Don't you don't want to go. No, stop stirring, you little shithead. <laughs> <laughs> not stirring? You are stirring. First thing you asked yourself Stir about hen nights. Stop it. Was? You're such a stirrer. It's not in there, is it? No. Would you hurry up, please? It's not in here. We'll have to use the old one. Oh. No, it would have been alright if I found it. Did you slam the door? Right, um, well, should we go get me in and then we'll go and get the stuff? This is a better off saying in the fridge, isn't it? So. Yeah?
Okay. Wait, the bar tells us about man. Well, I was going to get the race out. In fact, I even got, for as far as getting one. Well, I might use it one day. I presume I'm opening this door yet? Or we'll do them in there, whichever. Do you want to do them at the race inside there? Whatever's easiest, what do you want to do? We can run out the race in there and I'll jab them in there. Could do that. Yeah. The only problem we have there is one disappearing under the gate, but if I close this one, they can't go through. No. You can go and get them if you want. Do something useful. Yeah. Typical. An hour ago, they were all up here. Now, they're all down there. The rainwater looks pretty clean. Go on, girls. Walk up, walk up. Steady. Steady. Wait. Pepper's just long for the walk. I know. What do you mean, think? She doesn't want to be left out. She had FOMO. Wait. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Lie down. Lie down. Pepper, come on. Come on. Good girl. Uh -uh, wait. Good girl. You're in the top part of you. I know you want to go in there. Yeah. Right, we gotta go up and get the jab anyway, so. Uh -uh. So the other two can go back in there. I'm getting the trap out. I thought you were going for a cream egg for some No, that's you that's got a fascination with cream eggs. She's got her to settle. No, she's alright, she's alright. I'm gonna just leave her face. She's eating stuff. She's super tired anyway, so she should just. I just thought if she has something to eat, she can just settle. She can eat it. Yeah. What she really wants is the little meat sachets that I have at home. Cause she goes crazy for them. She eats all the meat. Mayor's had a little lick of the grapes. Oh. You're like, this is crazy. Wow. Only the tiny no, little it's bit. Okay. It's okay. Eh? You're going to sleep for a thousand years tonight because you've been out all bloody day. I just left my room there a minute. Let her have. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Meg was amazing. Oh, come on, let's go. Right. Okay. See you in a minute. What have you asked to be? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, she's happy she got off her toy again, oh my isn't it? Like, my dog. <laughs> yeah, happy now. Go back to my obsession. <laughs> Blast, we're not going home. No, you can stay in there. Right, do you want a jab or do you want a spray? Uh, probably spray, because okay. I haven't jabbed in the fridge. Oh, same as it was last time. That was subcutaneous. Yes, I know, I know. Where's the gun? Is the gun? Yeah. There's the gun. Don't worry, I'm like you, I'm organised. I leave stuff where it's supposed to be, so then I don't have to make an extra trip up the house. Don't hit me. <laughs> me? As if I would. I've got a bit of sense in that side as well. Yeah, we don't want to fall in there, do we? So. <laughs> My poor dog. <laughs> Oh, 
That's quite a long needle, isn't it? So. Yeah, don't go all the way in. Well, I don't know that. It's just under the skin. Okay. Shake it. I was just saying, just in case. Don't look at me like that. You got to put a bit of force behind it. Oh, do you? No more thought that. Not towards me. Not Are towards you me. Have, you having babies? No. Just shoot one through it so you got. To... Stop it. I say. Right. Have you set the syringe to the right dose? Yeah, it's on two mils because it's a two mil gun. Don't be difficult. But you can change the... Yeah, but look how far that back it is. Yeah. If you change it, that will sit at a different spot. Yeah, so that's definitely two mil because I was fiddling with that earlier. Yeah, two mil. Yeah? Is it two? Oh yeah, forget your gun, you shit. There you go, everyone. There's the two, because you can't see shit. I can see your arse. <laughs> can you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, no need to panic. Come on up. Oh, very clean feet. Yeah. Legs are so white. Yeah, they're all looking well actually. Don't you? Get your booties up. That's it. Thank you. Right, there's actually one here with a red spot on, her, on its head. Yeah, I see it. So what we'll do is if we spot them on a the bum. So if you want to... in a little bit, so you hold, hold it that way. You want to hold that. Well, no, I, I wasn't... I am not here today to be your cameraman. I'm here today to draw colourings. So how many hands do you need for that? Two. Hold the camera, that was a bloody awkward. Don't you give me, don't be bloody awkward. You were bloody awkward Don't you bloody me awkward. Dad, not being funny. What? You can open that gate. I know. And you can open it inwards. Yeah. Which means you don't get the sheep out. No. Just being trying to make yourself look cool. Don't waste too many. <laughs> it's like a little beauty spot. It is, isn't it? A bit of dampness on you. They may not be unified spots, but they will be spots. Yeah. But at least I'm not drawing like Henry does. Oh, that went a little bit sideways. Oh, she's red. She's only got to be coloured till we, so we don't stab her twice. This is true, we could know. Are you complaining about my spots? Yes. Years. Oh, can you see? Do you all mind just wiggling your bodies? They're very fat, aren't they? Considering they're on lean ground. Come on, turn your head. You're not so fat, you're a bit leaner. Teamwork, teamwork is the dream work. I'm even aiming properly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait, you want the, the spray or the camera? Both. Yeah. It's good I'm a woman. <laughs> okay. Got very tight fleeces, don't we?
You are fat, madam. Look at you. I can't tell if you're squished up or if you're generally quite on the chunky side. Oh, <laughs> too short. Done that, aren't we? Yes. She just had an ickle pickle spot. <laughs> it was a very, it was a very precise spot. Okay. So, right, you can have this horrible thing back. Right, that. I think everything that had problems with eyes is Don't gone. We've got, oh, got some stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> All the eyes look good. That's a Dave's daughter, look at it. Yeah. That's why her sleeve is so tight. Do you think that all of her eyes are really clear and, and nice? Well, these are all youngsters now, aren't they? Well, yeah. I say these are, what are these? Three, four year olds, are they? Yeah, because April. <laughs> But well, that's it. That's that was it. That's all I needed. Feet, to be fair to them, everything looks good on its feet. Yeah. To be fair, if you were to take these to market, I think they they go cracking. Apart from being some of them looking a bit chubby, oh. they um the feet look good. The fleeces look good. How many teeth have you got there, Nikki? That's the question. She only have uh, four. Yeah. Most of them only have four teeth. So she'll be a full mouth. She'll be a full mouth, eh? Hey? There's one that looks a little bit long on its back foot. You come down here because she's stuck at the back that she can't see. You see that one just by the door? The oh, third uh. leg in just looks a little bit long, but it doesn't look... What? It doesn't look like it needs trimming right now. It looks like that actually is fine. The giraffe part is up and soft. It'll probably work itself out. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's in there. Hang on to that a minute and I'll tip her up. Why can't I tip her up? Oh, well, you tip her up then. Go on then. Do you remember I'll put, the last I'll put time this happened? Back pocket, you want? <laughs> what? I don't bruise my arse. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to climb over this time. Do I was just—I was going to say. They're all at this end of the. Of the yeah, well, there was a few at the, that end when I did it. Don't yeah. Push don't push me off. Don't push me off. Oh, you are fat. Yeah. I offered to tip her up. Well, you insisted. It's worth me having a go, isn't it? Give me a thumbs up. I'll have to bring her ass around a little bit. Made her bum all dirty now. Oh, she's quickly. Do you want yeah, the trim as well? Uh, I can't with those trimmers, but I can have a go. Well, the little ones are in there too, but they're not as strong. I'll have a go. These ones. Are... Get your ass out of me! Right, Mrs. Don't kick me in the face. All right. Yeah, that one just looks a little bit. Well, these ones. Actually, have you sharpened these? No, not really. Oh, I've just got strong hands then. That's what it is. You've got a firmer grip than when you were younger. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's an inappropriate comment you're making there? I do. I never make inappropriate comments. I'll take a bit more than that, I think. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at that curve, really. So why do we have the uh, um, uh, uh. why do we have the trimmers facing Daniel? So we don't get kicked in the face and stab ourselves. That's right. Oh, I'm so clever. A very clever person taught you that, didn't they? No. <laughs> didn't they? Some twat did. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> not really, no. And there's a little bit of bleeding in there, so it's a case of is that? Is there is bleeding? Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, so can, can you see? Yeah, you want a bit, little bit more off that nail though. Oh. And off this side. Yeah, I'm just trying to make that if she's got an abscess or something in the centre. Don't right. worry if you spray me. Well, I don't really want to spray you if I can help it. It's only antidotic. I know, but... 
Ne? Stingy, stingy. Ja. You look very cack handy with those things. I know. It's because they're... It's they're it's for the, men. Yeah. With big hands. Oh, so you, your quick's quite high up. Okay, so I'm going to make you bleed, unfortunately. Should be at that eye. Well... There's a bit of smell there. Yeah, I was going to say that smells bad. Mm. I can't get that flame. Is it hot? The actual foot? Do you want me to... No, I wouldn't say it's hot. She is falling a little bit, hang on. Oh. Right, watch them. Oh, no. All right, all right. Do you want to get down there and trim and just have a feel yourself and I'll hold her? All right, Missy. I'm trying to keep you at a comfortable angle if I can. I just can't get that. How come you can do it? If everyone can't work out why Dad ain't talking, it's because the camera's in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You want it Did it bleed off. at all? No, not really. These top ones, I mean, there's a little bit of length on. All right. But I wouldn't say anything too bad if I'm honest with you. So look. Oh, I, I reckon that's fine. Or do you want to just take that edge off? I would say that side's all right. Yeah, he's okay. Right, do you want to close that gate while I just let her out? Yeah, let her out. actually, because there was a bit of smell about that foot, I just want to put a bit of spray in there. Oh. Or you can put a bit of spray in there if you want. To be honest, I'm holding. If you could spray... Hang on, if I just... It's cold. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> you left her on her back. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> Give me two seconds, I would have helped you. What went flying? Was it the... <laughs> I'm trying to get her up because I knew as soon as I let go, she'd want to roll and get up. Yeah, where do they go? Yeah. God, you are blind. Yeah. She does have a bit of smell. Yeah. Camera got away with it, I think. Well, as long as that's all right. Yeah. Don't worry about your daughter. Well, what about you? That wash off most of it. What about my feelings? No, it's your attitude that got a problem. <laughs> Maybe you can scrub that away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Other than, I think she was the only one I saw with quite long nails. Yeah. So these will go over to Terra Farm in um, 10 days. So if I get some ear tags. Do you want to worm them we'll clean? Everything down there is clean. No. Then, is it, have you seen any real nope. wet? Wow. When they're used, you actually really want to worm them. Used don't need to be worms necessarily, it's only lamb. So if these are clean and well, there's all... nothing wrong with them, then they do not need to be wormed at all. Well, because you don't want to build up resist resistance. No. So that's not worming them. No. They're re they, they are so clean. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen sheep this clean on the back end. <laughs> yeah, but we got rid of all the crap, didn't we? Crap of use. The old. The infirm, oh, the Herdwicks. <laughs> yeah. Got rid of the Herdwicks. So. I can't tell if I can still smell her. It's up my nose. There was definitely a little bit of smell, but I think that was just because um, we've opened that up now. So nothing was laying, was it? Nothing came up here hobbling. Yeah. I can smell something this way. Can you? I mean, it could you... be you. I was... <laughs> <laughs> you missed me. Yeah, so much. Stop getting yourself in a tear. Well, these are these are fairly young. Well, I've never really smelt foot rot before. Well, haven't you? So that's no. So when you that... smell, when you turn to me and go, I can smell foot rot. I'm like, what is? I, I there, there's no smell I can associate it with. That was it. Because to me, that doesn't really smell like infection. No. It doesn't smell. When I say new, is kind of the word I'm going with. That smells. I know, I know the name is rot, mm. but it said that smell is more like a long-term yeah. left thing. No, that was, that was what you could saw, that was classic yeah. nose of foot rot. So, But usually if it's bad, their feet are hot, 
Yeah. I don't know if it'd be length, but she so, was. Well, that looked like when, when we pulled it back, that nail, mm. and we opened it up where it curled. There was a little white. It was just there. Yeah. There was just a little lump which I must have caught, mm. and I was getting the muck out, and I must have just caught a little bit. It might have been a little ulcer in there yeah. or something. So if I've just nicked that cop ulcer. Well, that won't matter because now we sprayed the back anti back spray in there as well. Mm. The stuff, angamycin. That will help clear that up. Yeah. All right. We let them back out. I reckon so. Well, okay. I mean, I'm happy. Yeah. Tips and toes, all done. These tips and toes, yeah. <laughs> so, and our bottle's mostly deflated, so we know everything's had a jab. So, I nothing, just, nothing just, else, just, nothing else. We got a jab. No, you don't need to do the ram because the ram doesn't have lambs. No, and Timmy doesn't need anything, so. No, it's literally just the breeding news. Just the breeding news. Okay. What right. about the young stock down there? Have they had their first slot yet? No. No. So they are they being put to a ram this year? No. No. So you could do it this year. So then when they come to go to I the I haven't got enough in there to do with them anyway. No, no, so. no, no. I mean as in you could start their course. Yeah. So the ewe lambs, I'll probably give them a jab near near the I end of the year. My hand. I can, it's, can you smell on my hand or is that more poo? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, let's let me. All right. You ready for them? You ready for them? Yeah. All right, that hurdle shut. You might have to, you might have to pull that hurdle around, that's all. No, that was impossible to get out. All right, no rush. Take your time. Got a little bit of a hobble on her now. Yeah, but if I've just caught that abscess yeah. accidentally, what would have been a good idea actually? Maybe just putting another little two marks. I recognise her. She looks like a bulldog. Look at her face. Yeah, I know. She's a proper um, yeah. Dave's daughter. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I know her. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I was offering you my butt cheek so you no, could get your phone out. Said, strut, strut, strut. <laughs> <laughs> I was offering you my butt cheek so you get your phone out. <laughs> Don't push me. <laughs> no, it's just that little. That's all I did. Yeah. Because I thought like, it would be bloody typical. Yeah, no, that's right. To go in it and break this I got to make some more concrete. I got to dig out around that cover now and then actually set the lid on it. So. Yeah. But I think what I need to do is actually make some shutter in the go around it. They do. They all look well. They're just a bit too fat. This, considering they're on. I mean, we've left one of these three paddocks to try and thin them down a little because they're just too fat to go to the ram. Yeah. I mean, that's what the grass was like. Well, I mean, they're shut out of the run at the moment. Do you want to leave it like that and just keep them, try and see in the next week, putting yeah. less ground? Well, the food. idea is, because we want to flush them out a little bit, is we put them on poor food. No, I know the idea. And then, yeah, you do, but some of them don't. I know, but you say the same every year. Go watch, go watch last year, or the year before that. Yeah, before that. Well, you when, just, you, when you were a nice young lady, no, before you, just, you were horrible. No, just repeating yourself. <laughs> Basically. We thin them down so that their body goes, oh, I can't release any eggs, so I have to just maintain myself. Then you put them on really good ground and they go, oh my God, I can feed myself and produce two babies instead of just one. Hooray! And then you get twins instead of singles and then they land better. There we go, decided, done. I suppose you're not incorrect, it's just a bit simple. Yeah, it is simple. Yeah. That's, that's all they need. They don't need any yeah. real technical going on for 15 minute malarkey. <laughs> yabba, 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 yabba. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was wearing sunglasses then. It would have been a, a, a kind, kind fatherly gesture in your direction. <laughs> yeah, that gate can stay up there. So yeah, they can stay on this. And then um, we'll tag them. I think you should make me a cup of tea. I think I should go home. No, I'm joking. <laughs> all right, okay. That's fine. They're all happy out there. Let's so. go. I mean, there's loads of them, isn't there? 14. Oh, it's too many so sheep. Many. Too many sheep. We should actually get another 10. I mean, but. Well, it's kind of one of those things with sheep, isn't it? Yeah. You go, it's a bit like dogs. So once you've had one, you might as well have a load. Well, another thing is because lots of the doses for the yeah. medication comes in 25s and that. So, you didn't, you didn't I heard. I heard. Right. Um, we got. A, can you grab the syringe? Can you grab the syringe on the way through? We need to take it back and clean that out. Oh. Are you going to move that? Can you that? Hold that out here. 
Yeah. And then you left it. Yeah, well, I did what it was. Put me carrying it all the way out here, then they carry it all the way back again. And then you've got it, and so when you got the house, you have to make do extra steps. Well, no, because I'm going to put that in. Oh, right, I'll take the syringe up. You put that in. No, I just got that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You were a little SH1T, that's what you were. Did you bring it in here, Jody? No, it's going to go in there. Oh, okay. Back up where I got it from. I was going to put the sheep race up. Honestly, for 14 sheep. Won't worth it. I'll use it. One day. <laughs> what did you say? You're... Up somewhere permanent, yes, like the cattle race. Well, it'll come in here eventually. You'll use it, yeah, yeah. But I need to get the panels up so I can finish off this and get the floor. Stabby, stabby, okay, stabby, abby. <laughs> hmm, okay. Sick. Yeah, that's not a bit. Sick, eh? Yeah. Right, that needs to be destroyed. Are you, are you flushed out, did you? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you got a jug or something? Jug? Yeah. For? Well, you can put that in and then put the water for it. Um. So you sit in the water and you can sort of try and get it under the tap. Okay. Um. Just, just something that will hold water. Yeah, hang on, I'm on your one. Jug. No bed. <laughs> I should take a needle out. Where so we next, where we where we both yeah. didn't see it. So next year or next time, Dad goes. I can't find the green gun. You can all comment going. You and your twat. It's there. Yeah. Well, I might actually put it in the dishwasher. No. Why? You're, that's how you'll make it go rusty. rusty. No. What? Getting it wet. You idiot. Not many greens are left up there, isn't it? It's more grey air. Why can't I put this dishwasher? Because that's a terrible idea. Why? Because it might not get in all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. You'll also make it, it go rusty will. and make it horrible. It's stainless. It's stainless. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it there to dry. Well, then put it in the dishwasher. No. Get it wet again. Put it in the dishwasher. Why? Because that sounds like a terrible idea. I think it sounds like a very clever idea. So what, I'll ring the MSD rep that makes those and go, my dad for twat, he says putting it in the dishwasher is a good idea, what do you think? It won't clean the inside. And then I'll get her to go, yeah, you're a twat. <laughs> Pay her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't do the inside. And then go, cast and say, call back. But it'll but be, um... Right, well, you put it in the dishwasher, if you fuck it, it's your own fault. Don't language. <laughs> Something then. I thought, oh, yeah. no! What? Go away. Wait. I've just given up my coffee today. My 
nice Saturday afternoon. Yes. You, you knew what I was going to do. <laughs>